Now, what kind of motorcycle channel would I be if I don't do a mod review on my personal motorcycle? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is your boy, Everyday Rider, doing a quick little mod review on my 2008 Honda CBR 600 RR. We got a whole lot to unpack, heavily modified, tastefully modified nonetheless. We're gonna jump straight into it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Do a whole bunch of mod reviews, motorcycle vlogs. If you like that type of content, feel free to hit that subscribe and like button. By all means, this is in no sort of order. I did try putting some of my favorite mods towards the beginning. And if you are noticing a lot of red accents on this bike, that is because this bike was previously red with a monster fairing kit, but I just went back to the OEM beautiful sparkling orange colorway that you see today. Starting off with the first mod that every motorcyclist enthusiast does to their bike, is a slip-on exhaust. We have the carbon fiber Yoshimir SR5. Let's go ahead and play a sound clip. <laughs> Moving on to more of my favorite mods and most recent mod as well is the Vortex Quick Excel Chain and Sprocket Kit. I went down one in the front, up two in the rear. Man, is it really kick now with that um, additional torque. Whole lot of fun, definitely recommend this to any, any type of mod, to any type of 600cc motorcycle you have. Again, one of my favorite, probably top two mods right now is the Tri-Page Dual LED Headlights. This really transforms your whole entire bike. I don't know why Honda decided to come out with their headlights with only one on. Um, so now there's two on and it's LED, so it just looks a whole lot better. Here is at night. Uh, we're also featuring the TSD Halo flush turn signals. Um, man, this whole combo between the tri-page and TSD turn signals looks absolutely insane. We have the ASV shorty levers, another one of my favorite mods. Has a nice little red accent to it. Probably my least favorite mod is the Driven Racing D axis grips. Um, not a huge fan of these grips. One, they're just not super grippy and I just don't think they look good. Kind of wish I'd bought some different grips. Some carbon fiber decals. Um, this isn't quotes. Keep in mind, they're probably more stickers, probably not real carbon fiber, but does add to the whole look. You did see that there's also a ram mount for that for my bike as well. Add into the kind of carbon fiber. Um, the Salaman seat has a little carbon fiber texture to it. Pretty comfortable seat, would recommend overall. Some cheap eBay mirrors. They got a little blue tint to them. Probably wouldn't recommend. They're pretty shitty, pretty vibrating, but they look cool. I think Shogun frame sliders. They do got a little carbon fiber in them, so they look cool. Um, they do got a little scratch in them, so. Yeah, that's where it was red. Anyways, got some really nice tires on here, some Diablo Rosso 3 tires. I did thought I was getting the fours when I got these put on, but apparently not. So a little upset about that, but we'll upgrade to the fours next time I get some new tires. Custom tailored 33 rim tape. Adds to the whole overall look to the bike. Looks really nice, has a nice little reflective to it. So it looks really good at night. Again, another favorite mod right here, Core Moto Steel Braided Brake Lines with a little red accent. Man, these brakes feel absolutely insane with these steel braided brake lines. Okay, and running through the last few we have here, gear indicator, very handy. Samco radiator hose kit specifically in red, cools down your bike a little bit better. Zero gravity double bubble windshield, windshield's in the OEM style, but double bubble is kind of handy. And lastly, we do have a few blacked out foot control pegs just to kind of clean up the bike a little bit, get rid of some of those silver accents. And that is a wrap on my personal CBR600RR, tastefully modified as you can see. I don't see myself getting any two more mods from here on out, maybe a power commander um, in the near future, but that's about it guys. I'm only spending my money on track days and possibly another motorcycle in the next year or two. 
I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and like button, and I will catch you all on the flip.